Hi guys, so I know I'm back with another haul for you. Um, I'm in a really weird location, you might be saying. This is because I'm at my, and my facing my two huge windows. So people are going to look at me like someone is right now, thinking that, why is she talking to the window? But anyway, um, I have just literally got up. It's only half past eight because my mum left work about an hour ago. So I was like already up and stuff. So, um, but yeah, so this video is going to be a haul, like I said, I went shopping yesterday, on Saturday, and I went to Paul, and I went to Dolphin Centre, and it's a huge, huge shopping centre with, like, Topshop, um, Primark, New Look, there's, like, three or four floors of Primark, which is huge. So, um, yeah, and so I went to River Island, Boots and Primark, not a lot, but... I did spend, I managed to spend around £150 somehow. So, um, yeah, I'll start off with Primark. I actually bought loads, I spent about, I think I spent about £78 and I only got a little bag. I swear, I was walking around, the first, it's the first place I went to, thinking to scare a break. So I just got one of those smaller bags, it is like jam packed. And also there is a coat that is not in there, it's just been out. So I'll show you the coat, the tags there fell off. I bought one of their uh, camo jackets. These are very, very in at the moment. I will zip up so I can show you better. Um, I was really excited about getting this actually because I didn't even think I'd buy one. I just said, I was like, well, I don't know. I, I, didn't, I have like a Jack Wills body warmer and stuff, but nothing actually keep my um, arms warm. So hopefully you'll be able to see us better now. Oh, sorry, I'm zipped up properly yet. Ah, the zip's quite rubbish, so obviously, um, I got this in a size 12 because I am only a size 8 to a 10, but this is going to be a coat and my my arms are very long. So this is what it looks like. This is a combat jacket and it's got long sleeves and it's got so much detailing, like on the shoulders it's got studs and then on the pocket it's got three stars. And then on the bottom pocket, there's like tassels and everything going on. This pocket, it's got some more little studs. I think it is so well made and it's got like pink lining. Or, well not like, just a little strip of pink all the way through it for some odd reason. Um, but I really like it and it's like sort of gone in at the waist as well. It's sort of like you can tie it, you can pull these tassels. I'm not showing you this very well. There's like tassels here and you can pull them and it will cinch you at the waist so it's really good for your figure as well so I really like this and it was £25 for a coat I thought that was really good so I'm really happy with that um, I don't know if they sell them in every Primark because in my Primark in Toronto I've not seen them in there so I was really happy when I found that okay so in the bag I bought a home decoration thing I bought this little love heart, wicker love heart thing, um, my room is actually quite a crafty room, like, you can see by this tree on my wardrobe door, it's like being painted on, and I love like these little decoupage things, like my, I had a bit of table, it's in my mum's room, of my old room, it has like decoupage, and it was so good, but um, I really like this love heart, it was I think £1.50, around that, and it's this wicker, and it's got a sweet little ribbon and I thought it was so sweet so I really really like that and this is probably just going to hang somewhere so I might go back and buy some more possibly I'm not really too sure but I thought it was really good for £1.50 okay then I bought a bag because I've been really loving bags and I bought this sweet little boxed um, bag it's, it's like a brown tan colour this does not have a label on. I must have fell off somewhere. Most stuff doesn't have labels on because yesterday I went shopping and I have tried on some of the stuff but some of it have got labels on. But this one hasn't, but I swear it did have one on. I'm not too sure what happened to it. Um, okay, so in here it's really sweet. So it's got this colour, it's just like a tanned oh sorry, well, um a tanned brown. It's got a really nice long buckled strap, so it's got like a sweet little buckle there, a little bit more of a detailing, which I like. Um, you can't take the strap off, I don't know why I want to take the strap off, that's a stupid thing to say. 
um, but the back's just simple. It's not big, but it's good to just go into town with your purse and your lipstick or your whatever. It's got a little, um, what's this called? Like a buckle almost, but not buckle, but it's like a little strap. And then open it up, and then it's got like a darker brown. It's got a sweet little pocket here, so you can put your phone in there. And then inside, it's quite big. And then it's got a zip pocket here. So um, that was £6. I really liked it. So they had one in like a baby pink as well, but I wasn't really fond of it because I think a brown would go with more things. So I thought it was really good. I got this dork top, um, one of their knockoff thing, not knockoff, but like their cheaper version of Topshop's um, nerd and stuff. I'll show you the Topshop. Oh, where is it? It must be in the wash. I have the nerd one from Topshop, I think you've seen it in a haul, and I really like the quality of it, but I wasn't, I was so angry when Primark and New York started to copy Topshop, I was like, well that's their thing, leave them, do it. But then I found this one, they have a crop top version, like they do in Topshop, but in Primark they have a tank top as well. So I bought this navy one, and it's a tank top, and I bought this because this girl looked so good in high waisted shorts. Or just shorts and in the summer to sunbathe in and not yet as Topshop thought of the idea of doing a tank top so that's why I went to this because Topshop haven't done it yet so I didn't feel a bit wrong what's that so yeah as it says dork on it obviously people get might get offended by the word dork but I do or nerd or geek or whatever like that but to me it's just a word and it should just be a word so it's just quite long it's in a size 10 and I really like it and it's quite sheer so you might if you're sunbathing in it or just go to the beach you might just well wear like a little band or something or just a blue bra if not wear a cami underneath it or a vest top whatever you want to call it so I really like this um so we really it's really really light and really floaty and so yeah it was only four pounds and the top shop ones are like 18 pounds so that's why I picked that one up and I thought that was really good. I was going to buy the other colours. I really, really wish I did, but I didn't. Okay, then I bought a oh, pair of shorts. Oh my god. These shorts I've been wanting for years. Well, about a couple of months now. And in my Primark, my Primark is crap. They never, ever, ever have the nice looking stuff. Well, for me, it doesn't anyway. Oh my god, when I found these, I fell in love. I was like, okay, pick you up, definitely. Um, these are called hot pants, hot pant, and they are bleach, and they're called bleach wash, and so yeah, they're a bit darker in places, so, oh, I'm sure you can see all this detail on it, so it's like distressed shorts, and they've got like frayed edges, and then it's a bit darker, and then on the pocket, it's got the Aztec print, which I think is so lovely, and then on one side, this side it's got the huge Aztec print. Oh, so lovely. Mm. I can't wait to buy them. So I really like these, and then the back, it just looks like that. So it's quite simple, but I really love them. Like, a lot. Very much. So these are a size 10 as well, and they were £12, which I think is so good. I really, really love Primark at the minute. They've been doing a lot of nice stuff. For twelve pound, it's just amazing. I now have a feeling that none of the rest of the stuff has tags on. Got this shirt. Okay, I bought a shirt because I love shirts. I really like. I'm going to wear this shirt and do it have they? I'm thinking of wearing this shirt underneath this bluey. What's it? I guess. Um, with green and white in it because if you're wondering this is from New Look I got it quite a while ago I bought it in other video as well um, I think this just like takes out brings out my eye colour some ways I don't know what eye colour mine are Ooh. they're like they were blue and then they went green and then they went grey and now they're like greeny blue I don't know what's happening to me okay so this shirt is another spiky bleach wash shirt um, this is a size 12 and it's huge. I don't know why I possess this by such a big size. But this is bleach washed. Um, it was £14 because I bought it when it, well, it was quite new, so they were just putting them out. Um, I really liked it. I just thought it looked really, really, really 
quite I don't know, it's quite smart in a way. So the collar I'm in love with. It's got these beautiful blunt spikes all the way through it. And what I really like is that I hate shirts where you have to undo it. But these are poppers. Oh, oh my god. They just think of everything. Oh my god. Sorry, I have to say that. My dog is on the move. Molly, you have to ruin it! Go! Um... Yeah, and I really like it. It's very long, but it's so good. As in, like, the shape of it. I'm, if anyone ever got it, you'll know the shape. It goes in at the hips, or the waist. No, not your waist, your hips. And then, I just love the shape of this. It's so lovely. Um, also, my friend's got this, like, two friends. Um, and they wear it all the time, and they're really nice on them. So I thought, yes, I shall buy it, because... That's what the sort of pushed me over the edge. And then also on the pocket, it's got some studs as well. So I really like it. And I think the collar, or we'll poking out of a jumper, this collar, oh, it looks so nice. I'm telling you, just cut off the collar, really. But I won't. So um, I don't know when I'll wear this, really, but I like the collar, so I bought it. And that was, I think it was £12, £14. Okay, and then I went a bit mad and bought two, oh, I'll show you the first pair. I bought cream leggings. Well, not leggings, they're like loungy leggings. I don't even know what they're called. I don't even have a tag for these. I don't know where they've all gone. I don't know, so I knew I was going to do this haul, so I don't know why I've taken them off. Right, so these are cave on it leggings. Um... I bought this colour and in grey because these are going to look so good just to learn around the house. I would never ever wear these out. Um, no, I wouldn't. I doubt it. Unless I was just like nipping up. Unless I was just nipping into Alice or something or say Sainsbury's in the car. I doubt if I'll wear these into town or anything. So this is the print on them. They're just like, keep on it all the way down and then they're cuffed. Someone's looking at me really weirdly. And then they're cuffed at the, well, sort of cuffed. Well, not really, but they're sort of just elasticated. Um, yeah, and these ones are in a size 10. So I really like them. And they were £8. How can I remember prices like this? And then I bought the same ones, but in grey. Just because I thought they'd look really nice. And these are a bit thicker. Like, the texture are a bit thicker. So they're exactly the same. I don't know why I'm showing you again. But these are a bit more cuffed, I'd say, a little bit more tighter. So yeah, I'm really happy with them. So eight pounds wasn't too bad. And then I bought a pair of shorts because I love shorts. And these are gonna be for summer, as you can tell by the print. <laughs> um I don't know why I bought these to be honest. I think they're called mini shorts and they were ten pounds. But I just really liked them. I love the print. I thought it was really sweet. Um, I'm going to wear these sunbathing. I'm just hoping it will be sunny on Sunday so I'm going to get a tan. Um, if not, I'll wear them on holiday or something. But I really like them. Um, they have got pockets at the back as well. So, yeah, I really like these. Um, they are very, very short though. Like, really, really short. So you might, I don't know, you might just pull them down a little bit. Unless you all wear these with some tights, it will look okay. So, um, yeah, I really like them. Um, and then I bought this top. I'm not like... Some people on YouTube wear like blouses, and I really like blouses. Blouses, is that the right word? Blouses? Blouse? A blouse. And like really smart clothing. But for me, I'm like not at that age yet. Not like I'm saying they're like ancient, but like they're more like 20s and early 20s. And I'm like just middle of teenagers so I'm not really, really going to wear smart clothing not yet I'm just going to wear a little bit but I sorry I'm like my pyjama bits um so I'm going to I bought this and this is like a the smartest I will ever get I reckon <laughs> well until I'm maybe a bit older but it's a lace top and I don't know I just really liked it and I saw it I thought that oh I'm very washed out so as I saw it I thought that would look really really nice so I picked this one up um, and it's just a lace top really, but you have to, I was really confused by it because you have to wear a blue undershirt or a cream one because 
you have like you'll ha like oh. but anyway and so there's the print on the lace and it looks so nice and there's a top underneath it there's a keyhole back and then the pa um it's like it's sort of a peter pan collar but it's at the back as well so it's like i don't know but i really liked it um it's a scale look really nice yeah. lovely and so that was i think six pounds as well oh god i fell <sighs> On my stool, that's why. Okay, then I bought this crop top. Um, <laughs> well, I say crop top. Actually, I bought it as a jumper. I'm sure most have seen these jumpers about. I bought it as a jumper, but wow, guess what happened? My auntie cut it off me because I didn't like them jumpers, and she's like a crafts person, so she does like clothing and stuff, so it's okay. Um, so. Basically, I don't know how to explain this. I got home and I thought, well, I tried it on and I didn't like the fit of it. It was just too clingy. I didn't like it. So then I said, could you cut it for me? So she says yes. Yeah. So she cut the arms a bit. And then the bottom, I don't know if it's very good because I done the bottom. <laughs> I made it as a high-low back. But um, this guy looked really nice in the summer. I have worn this as shorts and it looked really good as well. So if any of you are thinking of doing this, go ahead and do it because I really like it now. I prefer it. And the jumper was, I want to say £6 or £8, around that. And they have different colours as well, a cream, a grey one, a blue one. But I just got my own crop top because I think it looks a lot better. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I go use that a lot. Okay, last thing I bought was a dress. Um, these dresses I've been raved about. Um, I bought this in cream. I don't know when I'll wear it, but I just really liked it. Maybe just to go to the beach with. I'm still going to keep talking about summer because I really miss it. I'm looking out of the window now and just seeing gloom and dark. This really is going on for far too long. Right, so this is the dress. And it's a lace dress at the top and then it's got little pockets. And it's just a long floaty skirt. And this um, did have like belt things, but I cut them off as well because I have quite fat hips, so I don't want my hips to be showing off any more of like a a belt. I really liked it though, um, so I did. I picked this up. It was I think fifteen pounds. I thought it was so good for a dress. There isn't just like one bit of fabric like that. You have to pull. There's like an undertop underneath this wear that first and then put it over it's really confusing i was in the changing room for about an hour mum was like you okay you okay and i was like yeah i'm fine but i just couldn't get the dress on so um yeah i really like it and i might wear it to a christmas or something or a wedding or something like that so that's all my primark i didn't go too mad in primark like i usually do I usually spend quite a lot i think i spent about 70 pounds 80 pounds anyway River Island, I bought two things. Happy little bag. First one, they gave me a free magazine. And oh my god, I didn't know Rihanna was doing like their. Hang on, it says something about it here. I will show you, I'll be your. Rihanna for River Island. She's like modding for River Island now, apparently. Look, it says Rihanna for River Island. Also, it's on Anstex Saturday night when he said, he said something like, oh, who's Rihanna styling for? Top shelf River Island. I went, River Island, I know that one. I didn't win anything because I wasn't actually playing, but I was like talking to TV. Anyway, okay, and then I got a top. Oh no, I'll show you the card go fast. Where is it? Okay. I bought this huge, lovely, oh, amazing cardigan. So this is a cream. What's it called? Yes, it's called cream. So this is a size 10 because the 8 was too small and the 12 was huge. So obviously go for a 10. That's so stupid. Um, this is a cardigan. It's an open cardigan. You can't do it up. But it's so, so, so warm. It's amazing. So it's got little pockets or big pockets. Um, three quite long sleeves, and it depends how small you are, I suppose. You might have long sleeves for that. I really like it, and it was only £30. 
which wasn't too bad, I don't think. So I really like that. And then I bought a top, a basic, what's it called? Urban tea navy stripe. And it's a speckledy, stripy top. Hopefully you can see the speckles in it. So all those little specks all around it, all going for it. It's so nice. Little, little sleeves, um, quite nice. And it's got a little pocket as well. And this is quite long and quite nice. Well, very nice. And it was £10. Really, really good. It wasn't even in the sale either. So that was a bargain whenever I did see one. Don't saying. Okay, there's some boots. Oh, I got a big bag. Oh, yay. Where did I put this? No, Molly, sit. Sit. I bought some face products. Okay, I don't know if you've. Oh, I'll just put them up. I don't know if you've seen me. Oh, I don't know if I've put a video. I put up a favourites video, but I got two more of the Garnier lotion and toner thing. They were two for three pounds still, and I thought I'm going to use a lot of these, so I bought two more. And I love them. This one removes makeup and clean, like low, um, moisturises your face. This one just tones your face and smooths it, and it's so nice. So this is what they look like, and they were two for three pounds. So I did. Yay! I had to buy more of them. I bought a face mask from Simple. I really, I ran out of my other one, so not the same one. I ran out of the number seven one. And I tried this one, so I'm gonna try it out. And it was five ninety nine. It was quite expensive, but obviously you gonna not use it loads. And that's what this one looks like. It's a deep cleansing one. Woo! Yay! Obviously done the survey thing, but I'll try it out. Then I bought mainly nail products and um, makeup. I bought a lip gloss. This is the I don't know how to say this Violine Gloss by Rimmel London. Um, this is a shiny lip gloss. I was to try this out, and it was in five five o Love Sick, and this is what it looks like. It's just really nice packaging. Um, um, it says like I've lips. Uh, love stick. Why won't you focus? Love stick. It says anyway. And it's a really nice, uh, pretty pink. It's very um, sheer. But it smells awful. <laughs> if you're interested. But um, I'm gonna use that. And that was only like four or five pounds. It was really good. I bought some makeup. I bought one thing from 17, num or not number, just 17. I bought a uh, foundation. I don't know why. I just thought that I'd be a bit adventurous, even though I love my Max Factor one. I bought it anyway, and that's this Miracle Matte Foundation. But I prefer not matte foundations. But I really like it anyway, and that was $4.99. I then tried some of the natural collection items. Um, I got the natural collection, what are these called? Bronze and pearls and blush, a blusher. So the bronze and pearls look like this. Really cool packaging. Oh, all their stuff under one ninety nine. That's amazing. This is only one ninety nine, and these are little pearls in it. Um, what's it says? Sun tint bronzing pearls. Swell a large brush in the pearls and apply skin a, skin a healthy glow. Oh, and this is in Sahara Sun. How lovely. Uh, I don't know why there's a sponge in here. Why is there a sponge? Maybe it's a soak up liquid. So here's the beautiful pearls. Ooh. And there's a sponge. So I'm going to try that out. I'm just going to use this as a bronzer because my one's shattered. <laughs> and then I also bought an, uh, blah, 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 a blush because my other one's shattered and that was from Soap and Glory. No, it was, an, it was my bronzer was from Soap and Glory and my Rimmel one is Stay 
No, Max Perfection. So I bought the Satchel Collection one. It was one ninety nine. So I tried it out, and this one is in pink cloud. Aww. Oh, lovely. Oh, these are the, like the creamiest blushes ever. Oh, can you see the creaminess? It's like so creamy, it's ridiculous. It's so soft. Oh, these are 199. I need to buy more. So I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna wait to use it. Yay! Okay, and then I bought four Barry M nail polishes. Ugh, come on. I bought four because it was buy two save pounds so I bought four and saved two pound makes sense well I did so I bought one in blueberry one in raspberry one in pink flamingo one in berry so the berry one is on my nails at the moment um oh look how lovely oh they're beautiful I tried filming this last night and this colour turned out to be like black, it was horrible. So here's the pastel -y colour, oh it's so lovely, Ooh, so lovely. I love this one, it's a pastel purple, a lilac I'd say, and this is what? Oh lovely, I really like it, um, that's one I'm going to use a lot of. This one which is, oh that one's, what's it called? Berry 308, just to let you know. And then this one is 305 Pink Flamingo. It's a bright fluorescent pink. I really love this one. I am. It's a bit runnier, like a bit. <laughs> oh, an open. What's it like? It's a bit. Um, what's it called? A bit runny, so it's a bit watery, but I can make it work. Um, I really like that one. Then I bought this one, which is 306 Blueberry. Oh, this is such a lovely colour. It is so nice. It's so, so, so lovely. Um, this is probably the best colour. And, oh, wait a second, day. Eh? How amazing. Is it just me, or is that just amazing? Oh, oh they're like brother and sister. Oh. Oh, these are two nice on each, just to let you know. And then I got this one, which is in raspberry, and I've gone for a dark colour. Ooh, I'm a rebel. This is 273, and this is in raspberry. It is so lovely. This one, again, last night turned out to be, like, brown, but it isn't. It's a lovely, plummy red. I'm sure most of you know what this colour is. Anyway, I'll show you this colour. It's so nice, and that's that one. Oh, it's very okay. I'm really sorry, I've been on for like 30 minutes, a half an hour. That is mentally crazy, but um, I am finito, finished. I hope you did enjoy this. If you stuck around for now, you deserve a huge clap. People look at me seriously weirdly. Um, but yeah, if please, please, please subscribe. I've got no subscribers. Anyway, I will see you in my next video, guys. Thank you all for watching. It's my next video. I won't do another one for a while, and I'll probably get bored. Anyway, see you in my next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.